Yes. Let's head to the land of Colvin, shall we? Yes. Our crew down there already has set up camp, and so they join us from Lucas Oil Stadium. Gentlemen, take it away. Mark D'Antonio and the Michigan State Spartans, the first team to take the field today at Lucas Oil Stadium on the eve of the Big Ten Championship. Held their walk through at 3 Eastern time. Champions of the Legends Division, 10 wins on the year, one shy of the school record set last season. Then at 5, the Badgers held their walk through the Leaders Division champs, looking to make it two straight trips to Pasadena, have won at least 10 games in three years in a row. That is the first time they have ever done that in school history. It is a great matchup here in Indianapolis. The team that led the Big Ten in total offense, Wisconsin against the team that led it in total D, Michigan State. Dave Revson alongside Glenn Mason, Jerry DiNardo, and Howard Griffith. I want to break down some keys for both teams. Let's start with the Badgers, Mason. Well, for the Badgers, it's run the football. Let's face it, that's the identity of this team. That's the identity of the Wisconsin football bird. That's what it has been, and that's what it is right now. Now, they're going against an awful good defense in the Michigan State Spartans, but I'm going to just tell you something. They will be challenged to run the football. I think they will cherish being challenged to run that football, and that's going to be important because when they run the football, they really roll. I think when you take a look at what Wisconsin was able to do, and you look at that game and you look at those tapes, you find that they made several mistakes. And I think this is something that they have to be able to clean up in this one. You talk about being able to make some plays. Coach, you talk about pressuring the quarterback. You have to be able to take a sack at some particular point. You don't want to have these mistakes that are out there. Everyone has to be assignment sound anytime you're playing at all times. So I think one of the keys here, Coach, is going to be to limit the mistakes when you have the football, when you're Wisconsin. And you talk about keys and you talk about mistakes, it brings you to the Wisconsin special teams. A year ago, Michigan State ran back a punt on them. This year, you're watching a blocked field goal, and you're about to watch a blocked punt for a touchdown. That's a swing of 15 points. I don't think you can come in to Lucas Oil, win a Big Ten championship, giving up points in the special team. Wisconsin must play better this year for this game than they played this year and last year in special teams. And the last five games between these two schools have all been decided by single digits. It's going to be a close game, and something like special teams could obviously swing it. What about Michigan State, Glenn? What are the keys for them? Well, I told you what Wisconsin's going to do. They're going to run the football with Pat Narduzzi, the defensive coordinator has to do. He has to contain that run, slow it down. You're not going to stop it, and he's got to be able to slow it down with his base defense. He cannot cheat too much, commit to the safeties too much to stopping the run because they have too many weapons on offense. So I think if they can slow that or contain that run, they got a chance. Now, I think one of the things when you think about this Michigan State team, obviously defensively they're unbelievable. So if they can continue to get pressure on the quarterback and make it tough for them to get assignments. When you talk about this team, Mich uh, Michigan State, they're going to bring pressure from all over the place. And one of the things Wisconsin tries to do is try to use guys to get around and, and try to make some difficult blocking techniques. Michigan State can hurt them in that section. I think there's three keys for Michigan State. Number one, they've got to run the ball for 100 yards from the tailback position. That's not dominant, but it makes Wisconsin defend it. No interceptions. You can't give Wisconsin any extra possessions. And then Kirk Cousins has to throw at least two touchdown passes. Why? Well, the explosive plays for Michigan State are going to come from the pass game, not from the run game. And when the field shrinks and Michigan State's in the red zone, they're not going to be able to move out the Wisconsin defense. They're going to have to throw it in the end zone to score. Well, you have talked about running the ball. You were saying 100 yards from the tailback, and we've been discussing this for years now, since 2008, when they attempt 35 rushes or more, they win every single time, guys, 24-0. They have to establish that run. When they don't, they are under 500 as a team. 